What's up everyone, Take Down here. Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to be doing another Marvel mystery box. But first, yes, the shelves behind me have recently changed and we did upgrade. So this past Christmas we decided to get a few more collectibles for each other, me and my girlfriend, and it looks really, really well. So this is her Scooby-Doo shelf, my Ghostbusters stuff's on it, we moved my Marvel stuff down, and now have a complete uh, just Nintendo shelf my PlayStation 1 and 2 shelf, and other shelves as well. So if you guys want to see everything, let me know. I might do a video or at least an update sharing what we did change with the shelves behind me because whenever I record videos like this, you guys only get to see four out of the 10 shelves. So let me know if you guys want to see that in a future video. But today, like I said, we are gonna be doing a Marvel themed mystery box. This here, my girlfriend actually got me for Christmas and it's the same kind of one as I got a while back from Entertainment Inc. that I did an unboxing on the channel back whenever I got it around Black Friday, something like that. And it is this here. So these cost, I believe, $35. It says the value inside is between $50 to $70 Canadian, which is $35 to $50 US. You can get uh, Funko Pops, graphic novels, action figures, comic books, posters, buttons, and a whole bunch of other great, cool items. So we're gonna be unboxing this today. I've been holding on to it for a while. Let's open it up and see what is inside. It does feel a lot heavier than the last one that I did open, the one that I bought for myself. But let's see what we get here. We do have a Funko Pop, so I might as well start there with whatever's on top. Now the box is a little beat up, but that is okay, and it is for Archangel, X-Men. That looks really cool. Um, there probably would have been other ones that I would have rather had, but this is a really cool one, one that I do not have in my personal collection. I do have to, now that I've said about my shelves changing, I will have to make a spot for this, but it does look pretty cool, but it does have some damage on the box, which isn't too bad, it's not really noticeable. Um, but I do like to keep my stuff in the box, so I'm not going to be taking this out of the box. I always keep mine in the box. But that is really cool. I love getting Funko Pops. So the last one, I never got a Funko Pop, so that is a really uh, great addition. Next up, we do have a bookmark. Marvel, uh, sorry, Spider-Man, and then Miss Marvel on the back. We do have another pin. This one is Deadpool. The last one we got was uh, Daredevil. This one is really cool. That's definitely going to be going up on my Marvel shelf here on the side. We do have another uh, poster, but as you guys seen in the last video, it is hard for me to open this up on camera because it's way larger than a regular poster. Um, so I'm not sure what this is, but I will leave a photo and put a photo up right now. And I think that's gonna be awesome. I love getting the posters from them. Hopefully this is better than the last poster we received. And hopefully it's one that I will like to put up and put on display in my, either this room or in my eBay room. One of the two likely. Next up we did get one of these uh, Marvel Mania things. I do have the Groot one over here from the last video. We're just gonna open it up and see what we get. And we did get another Groot. Of course, it's not going to focus there. It just sticks kind of like a suction cup on the bottom. So cool, but it is a double. I'll just put it on the Marvel shelf for now. Next up, we did get something that is amazing. We got a keychain in the last mystery box. We did get one in this one, and I actually like this one a lot more, but it does have a lot more weights than the last one did. So if you guys remember the last video, we did get a Deadpool keychain. This time around, we got a nice Black Panther keychain. That is amazing. Uh, definitely gonna be putting this on my truck keys. I'm debating on keeping the name of my truck, my 2021 Black Dodge Ram, uh, keeping it as Venom or changing it to Black Panther. So this would be a nice addition to it, which would be really cool. So. We will see, that is awesome. I love getting the keychains because that is a heavy keychain. I do have the Deadpool one on my uh, keys right now, but it had uh, different paints to it. This here is just all silver, so it shouldn't scrape off, but the red on Deadpool's mask is scraping off of my other one, so 
might have to change that one out. Next, we do have this little uh, coloring poster. No idea why they would uh, include that. Uh, we do have some comic books, which is cool. Uh, I don't think I got comic books last time. I got a graphic novel, uh, which is actually on display here. Uh, and we got, oh, that's really cool. So I love X-Men. You guys know this. I love collecting anything Beast and other characters. So we have Beauty and the Beast. This is a limited four issue uh, set. So that is really, really cool. Play on Disney with the, that is awesome. Cool. It's a complete set too, so that's even better. Um, not sure who the beauty is, uh, who is referring to. I can't really get a good look. Um, that is really cool. Complete sets. I do like the beast. Um, so this is definitely going to be staying in my personal collection. That is amazing. And we do have one thing left, which um, it does look really cool. And it's going to be nice to display on my shelves. And that is this hardcover Fantastic Four book. Sealed. That is amazing. That is really, really cool. Awesome. Marvel Season 1 Fantastic Four. That's really cool. I haven't seen these before in the stores. Uh, this is definitely going to be one. I'm going to have to make room on my shelf here. These are my graphic novels, but this is obviously going to go with it. I love the Fantastic Four as well as X-Men, so this is amazing. So this Marvel uh, mystery box that we got, I'm hoping to get a few more. If you guys are interested, I might do a few more in the future. These are amazing quality. I loved the last one, but this one here has a lot more value inside. Like this book alone is a $30 book Canadian. So that is freaking crazy that they included it in here whenever we only paid $35 for this box. So we have a $30 book, we have a cool Funko Pop, we do have a really nice keychain, a complete set of Beauty and the Beast uh, Marvel Comics, which is awesome. So I'm gonna say this is a more valuable one than the last one, but comment down below what you guys think. Should I get a few more of these boxes and try to check them out? There is a lot of great stuff that I'm personally going to use, like the keychain, and I do want to put on display like this book, and those comics are a great addition to my collection as well. So let me know what you guys think. Should I get a few more, or should I try to get some other mystery boxes as well? These ones here from Entertainment Inc., I honestly really, really like. So who knows, I might go back in the future. It is a little bit of a drive, about 30, 35 minutes, but to me, that was well worth it for these boxes. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm gonna leave this here. Please take care. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.